Hello, this is your classmate, John Brandenburg. Uh, I have a little bit of a radiation show-and-tell for you here. Uh, this is the Geiger counter I'm using. It has a pancake probe, which in theory is sensitive to beta and gamma radiation. So I'm going to go ahead and switch this on and put the scale at 1 to 1. You'll hear it click now and then. That's just registering normal background radiation. The first thing I have to show is a piece of hot shale. This is from the Woodford Formation in Oklahoma. The uh, fractures in the shale are filled with tar or a naturally occurring bitumen. Um, and this is weakly radioactive. And so if I find one of the hot spots on here, that's reading about 0.2 to 0.3 millirem per hour. Next up, here's a piece of uranium ore. This is a sandstone hosted uranium oxide. The uranium oxide is the yellow grungy stuff in there. I'm going to switch up the scale on this to a factor of 10 and put the probe right on there. So that is reading about four to five, maybe a little bit higher millirem per hour. Next, here's a different ore. This is pitch blend. It's more of a crystalline mineral. And I'll put the, again, put the probe right on there. This one also about four to five millirem per hour. And then last, but probably most interesting, this is some uh, bright orange to red fiesta wear. This was a type of cheap ceramic uh, dining ware that was sold, I think, in the 1960s. It's got a very brilliant bright orange red color, and this is just a plate and a coffee cup. Um, nothing particularly spectacular, but it does contain depleted uranium in the glaze. So I'm going to switch up the scale on this again and put the probe right on there. And so that's reading about 20 millirem per hour. So there you have it. I'm going to go put this away and wash my hands now.